Hey, this is Abhiram and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain the significance of TVARVC in SAP. So what is this table? Most of you have had heard about this SAP table, especially if you are working in an implementation project. So let us understand what is this and what is the significance of this table. TVARVC is a standard table provided by SAP that is used mostly by the evapers to store data under the variants. The main purpose to use this table is to avoid hard coding of the variables in the programs, which will later on lead to the scalability issues. TVARVC also reduces the effort of creating Z tables to store the data that is frequently changed. Before we go further, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified on a new video. You can now join the channel and contribute for creating more videos and also get access to the member exclusive content. Now getting back to the topic. Let us take an example. Assume a requirement that while posting a vendor invoice in Miro transaction, the system should trigger a two-level workflow if the net value of the invoice is more than a certain amount. Now this requirement can be achieved in two different ways. One, you develop a baddie in the Miro transaction and hard code the amount in the program. For example, a two-level workflow should be triggered if the invoice amount is more than 50 lakh rupees. But the problem here is, if the amount is to be changed in the future, then the program code needs to be edited. The second way is to create a Z table in which we can give this amount. Although this is a better method than the previous one, it requires additional efforts to create data dictionaries and generate the tables, domains, etc. So for these cases, SAP had provided the TVARVC table, which can be used to store such frequently changing values without any hard coding or creation of Z tables. Although this table is mostly used by ABAPers, it is important for a functional consultant to have a fair bit of idea as they are the ones who need to insert the values in this table at the time of cutover. Now let us check about this table in SAP system. TVARVC table can be accessed via the transaction code STVARV. So here are two tabs. Under parameters tab, we can create variables that will have only a single level of data. For example, amount and the value can be 50 lakh rupees. This amount can be changed as per the requirement at any point of time, but it will have only one value at a given point of time. So now let us try to create a variable under parameters. I will go to the edit mode, create it. So let me give the name as test amount. And here we can give the value as 50 lakh rupees. This amount or and this variable in this table can be called up in the ABAP programs whenever you want to have such a dynamic variable in the program. Now the second option here is selection options. Selection options are the variables which have more than one value, like for example, a range of values or multiple values for a single variable, etc. Now let us create one selection options. I will give the name as amount range and here if you see we have upper limit and the lower limit. We can either give the values as like 50 lakh to 75 lakh or you can have any kind of dynamic selections and you can give the values. You can also select this multiple selection option and you can give multiple values for this one. So this is mostly used whenever you are having variables such as company quotes or your purchasing organization or sales organization where you will give more than one value for that variable. These variables stored in TVARVC table can be called in the ABAP programs to fetch these values. Any requirement of changing the value can be done by accessing this transaction code STVARV without any need to edit the programs or to maintain any Z tables. But in certain cases, this table can directly be maintained in each and every client. In such scenarios, it will be the responsibility of the functional consultant to maintain the values for these variables during the cutover activities. So we saw what is the TVARVC table. We understood that it is a standard table provided by SAP and it is used to avoid hard coding or to create any Z programs. But there is one disadvantage of TVARVC. It is that the values you store are not linked to the domain. For example, if you are having a variable as a company code, you cannot F4 on this value in this variable to fetch or validate these values against those available in the system. That means if you see here, I cannot have any F4 option and I cannot validate these fields against the values which are already present in this SAP system. Let me show you by an example. 
Now I create a new variable called as company code. And I try to enter one company code which is already created in the system. Now here as I do not have any F4 option, I can give any value which might not actually be the company code that is present in the system. So when the program is trying to call this variable and it is fetching this value whichever is given here, there might be an error thrown by the system when the company code given is not matching with the actual company code that is present in the system. So this is where SAP had provided another option called as setLeaf. So what is setLeaf? Setleaf is also a standard table provided by SAP to store variables similar to that of TVARVC. The major difference is in setleaf we can store the data in the form of sets. Sets in simple terms is a combination of both parameters and selection options like which we saw in earlier in STVARV. And also in setleaf the values are linked with the domain so that you can have an F4 option and fetch or validate the values with the existing values in the system which is not present in TVARVC. You can store variables in setleaf by the transaction code GS01. So GS01 is used to create sets and whatever sets you create here are stored in setleaf table. You can access the setleaf table from SE16N but in order to store or create variables in the setleaf you need to create it in the form of a set in the transaction code GS01. So now let us try to create a setleaf called as company code. As you see here you cannot directly create a variable just by giving the name. You need to link it with the existing table in the system. So now let me give the table as AC.A. -A. Now if I hit enter it will ask me the table field with which we want to link the values of this variable. Now here let us select company code. I will do an F4 and I will select the company code as RBUKRS and hit OK. Now if you see you are having options of either giving a single value or you can give a range of values. That means it is both a combination of parameters as well as selection options that is present in TVARVC. Not only that here you are also having an F4 option to go and check the existing company codes in the system so that the user cannot maintain any value which is not actually the right company code. So now let me select this value and the two value I will select it as another range. So whatever the company codes that are present in this range are now the actual values that are stored in this variable. You can give a short text to this set line and you can store it. Similar to that of TVRVC, the set leaf tables can also be accessed in the program by calling the table set leaf. So this is about TVRVC and set leaf tables and why and how they are used. Hope you have liked the video. Subscribe and stay tuned to the channel. Now you can join the channel and become a super member to get access to exciting member exclusive content and also contribute for more such videos. See you in the next video. Until then, stay safe.